Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For this Kim K inspired makeup tutorial I'm going to just be hydrating the skin with some moisturiser or moisturising the skin and then my lips have been struggling recently like a lot so I'm going to pop on a lot of Vaseline and I'm also going to be using the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream underneath my eyes. Now to prime I'm going to be using the Smashbox Hydrating Primer, the Photo Finish Hydrating Primer all over the skin and then I'm going to be using this Illuminator by NARS, it's called Copa Cabana, if that is correct, I'm not too sure. It adds a really nice iridescence to the skin and we're going for that glowy, dewy skin today. Then to add foundation to my skin, I guess. For foundation, I'm gonna be using MAC Face and Body in C5, popping this into the center of my face and just blending it out. And then I'll be using the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in Tahoe and popping this around the outskirts or the perimeter of my face because it tends to be a little bit darker. And just blending this all in with a brush. And don't forget your neck too, I guess. Then taking my favorite NARS concealer in Caramel, I'm gonna be popping this underneath the eyes and around the mouth. Now underneath the eyes, I'm popping it in more of a triangle shape to create some dimension to my face, if that sort of makes sense, and pop it around the mouth because I do have pigmentation here. I've been using a brush recently just to pat everything in because I feel like it gives me more of a flawless cover and it doesn't move the product around too much. And then I've been using NARS in the shade Ginger, which is a little bit lighter for me, which is about two shades lighter, and taking this on all the high points of my face to create a really nice highlight, and it adds a little bit of dimension as well. And then just taking that same brush and packing that concealer on. Now, I do have more of a flawless skin because this is a Kim K inspired look, so you don't have to do it as heavy. I'm just gonna set underneath the eyes with the Mineralize Loose Powder by MAC in Medium, and then I'm just gonna pat that in just so I'm a little bit matte, I take the foundation off my lips because I really, really hate that look. And that is almost the skin done before contour. Now to contour, I'm gonna be using my MAC Concealer Palette in Dark, and then just taking a mix of all of the darker colors and popping this around the perimeter of my face, underneath my jawline, and quite heavily on the um, hollows of my cheeks and then I'm also going to define my nose a little bit by taking it down the sides and underneath and popping a little bit underneath my mouth as well. I also take a little bit down this hollow area and then I buff it all in with that brush so it's not too too harsh and that is the skin done. Now moving on to eyes I'm going to be using the fluid line gel by MAC in dip down take a little bit of the excess off on the back of your hand and I'm gonna run this through my brows. I kind of avoid the start of my brows. And then just to make them a little bit lighter, I'm gonna be using Quiet Brunette, which is the brow set by MAC, and running that through. Now using the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo, I'm gonna be popping this all over my eye, taking it up to the brow bone and just blending that out. Then I'm gonna be buffing this out with a beauty blender. I'm gonna be using, oh fuck, like all my refills fell out and that is a face that I pulled. I'm gonna be using Pure Orange by MAC and I'm gonna be popping this into the crease area because I want that really nice copper, warm, bronze, you know, what I usually love. And then popping Saddle just on to my lid for a little bit more dimension. Just taking that on to, just up to my crease and then buffing that out. Now use Fix Plus on a brush and go into your Tom Ford palette. Now I love, love, love this um, Cognac Sable palette and I love this copper color. Like the eyes look glossy, I really like it. And then I'm taking my crease colors and popping that into my lower lash line as well. Buffing it out with a 224 brush so it's more airbrushed. Then I'm just gonna take a black coal pencil. I'm gonna pop this into my waterline. Don't worry if it smudges out a little bit. And you also want a tight line with this because you don't want to see any gaps of skin on your eyes and then buff that out. Now take the Makeup Revolution palette and use the highlight color on the brow bone and a little bit in your inner corner. And then I take took nylon and just intensify this highlight a little bit. I'm gonna be taking corduroy because I felt like I needed more dimension to the eyes. So I'm just building this color up in the crease to add a little bit of dimension until I was happy with it. Now taking Huda Beauty lashes in Lana, I'm gonna pop them on and then add a little bit of mascara to my lashes. And that is more or less it for the eyes. They are the eyes done. 
Moving on to the face, I'm gonna be using the Sleek Bronzing Palette and using this matte brown, just to intensify my contour a little bit in all the places that we did contour. And then I'll be using Warm Soul, which is a mineralized blush with a little bit of iridescence to it, which is really nice. Just popping that on the apples of my cheeks and working, the way, working my way up. Using my Bronze Glow Highlighter by Bobbi Brown and a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush, I'm gonna be popping this just underneath where the cheekbones go and it gives you a really nice iridescence highlight and then going in with Oh Darling for a little bit more highlight, I'm gonna pop that on to my cheekbones and all the high points of my face as well, including my cupid's bow. Now for the lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Now this is Abu Dhabi, so I'm gonna be popping that straight on. I'm not too sure on the texture of these, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. I need to try it out a little bit more. And I'm gonna mix that with Stockholm because I wanted a really nice sort of coral, coral pastel color. And I think I achieved it. So that was the lip color. And then I'm gonna be using MAC Zach Posen in Sheer Madness, the new limited edition lipstick. I'm gonna be popping this over. I really like the iridescence that this brings. I wanted that dewy vibe, that glow to the skin. And then I'm gonna be adding a little bit of Fix Plus. And that is it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this makeup look.